Hey guys, it's Nikki. So today's video is going to be all on this look right here. It's just a very fun cut crease for the summertime because it has some bright colors, it has a little bit of green on the lower lash line, and I wanted to apply just a really bold lip. You can do whatever lip you want to do with this look. You can do a nude lip, you can do a nude pink lip, you can do a bright pink lip, a bright orange, you can do a dark lip, or you can do a red lip like I did. I just wanted to do something that was more bold to go with the look. You can honestly, like I said, do any type of lip with this look and it will still look fine. For my lips, I used the Fenty Beauty Madame lipstick. I love these lipsticks. These are my favorite formula for matte lipsticks ever. I've kind of grown into a liquid lipstick person, but this formula is amazing and I love it. I have another color, I believe it's Spanked, and I love that one as well. They're just so comfortable to wear. They're long lasting. They look beautiful on the lips. They don't bleed, which is important. I don't have to use a lip liner with these and they're not drying over time, which is really amazing. You can put layer after layer and they're not gonna look drying. They're not gonna look patchy. So that's what I love about these lipsticks. Congrats to Rihanna and Fenty for creating these. They're amazing. You probably hear so much hype about these lipsticks and it's true because they're literally amazing. Also too, um, I will leave all my Instagrams down below. I have my two Instagrams. Um, I leave them down below in every single video, but you guys should totally give those a follow. And also too, definitely message me or DM me or whatever it is, questions that you wanna ask me. It can be personal, it can be life related, it can be makeup related, it can be about boys, it can be literally anything. Ask me whatever you want. Um, and I'll be happy to answer them for you. I want to film a Q&A for you guys just so you can kind of get to know me and I can get to know you So that way, you know, we kind of have that little connection. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, I won't be able to answer all of your questions But I do want to answer some so definitely even down in the comments leave questions down below And I'll be sure to answer as much as I can. My makeup Instagram is probably gonna be the best one to contact me on um, just because that is where I do everything makeup related. I have my clients that I do. I also show looks that I've done and I also give you YouTube updates on that uh, on that one as well. So definitely follow that one. It's gonna be linked right down here. Um, and then on my personal Instagram, you can always message me on there as well. Um, that's obviously just more of my personal lifestyle. That's my personal Instagram, like I said. So either or is fine, um, just know that my makeup Instagram is gonna be more common for that type of thing. So without further ado, I'm gonna stop rambling and let's go ahead and get to the tutorial. Oh, before I go, please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more videos every week and also too, turn on that little bell for post notifications so that way you're notified when I upload and you don't miss an upload. And also too, comment down below what you always like to see. I always love your guys' feedback and I also love it when you guys give me ideas of what you want to see on my channel. So definitely leave all of that down below. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. Bye guys. Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So for primer, I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Dewy Lumine Primer. And then we're going to go in with the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm taking the shade Raw Sienna and that's going to be my transition shade. Now we're going to go in with the shade Real Gar. It's just that matte orange and we're going to apply this directly in the crease um, right underneath that raw sienna shade. And then um, we're going to go in with Love Letter which is that bright matte pink. And we're going to apply this over Real Gar a little bit underneath so that way you still have a little bit of that Real Gar peeking through. Um, so we're going to blend that out. And then um, I'm going to take my concealer. This is how I like to do my cut crease. Um, so on any sort of like flat concealer brush, uh, I'm going to take my concealer and this is how I like to do them. I carve out where I want my cut crease to be and then I'll go back in and blend those lines all together. But fast forwarding now, as you can see, this is how it looks with both eyes. Um, it takes practice, 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 oh my god I can't talk, makes perfect. And then I'm going to go in with the shade, I believe Leo from the BH Cosmetics Supernova Palette. And this is a really pretty 
darker gold color and we're gonna apply this directly on the eye and we're also gonna blend those two lines together between the um, crease and the lid. For foundation, I'm taking the Mirabella foundation in the shade 3N. I really do like this foundation. It's a really nice professional brand foundation and it gives a really nice dewy finish to the skin, which I really like as well. So for brows, I'm doing my Anastasia brow like always and then boom, have brows. What do you know? Perfect. It's like magic. And then we're going to go back in with that same Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and we're going to apply that underneath our eyes and I think I'm in the shade light neutral. I never really know. I don't really pay attention after I buy it. So we're applying that all under our eyes like so. I like to apply a lot because um, one, I don't get sleep and two, I love full coverage underneath my eyes. So I'm just taking a damp beauty sponge underneath my eyes and we're going to blend all that out. And I'm also carving out the sides of my eyeshadow as well. I always do this with my concealer. So I'm just taking that and then I'm going to cream contour. Um, I'm not really going to show this part because it's something that I do all the time and it's not really a necessary step. It's just kind of an extra step I like to do is cream contouring and highlighting. So I'm just going to fast forward through this so you guys can see it. I'm just taking the highlight shades on all my center points to highlight the skin, make it even brighter, and then I'll take the bronzers and contour colors and sculpt out my face and everything like that too. So we're just taking that to the skin. So for powder, um, I like to bake my under eyes, my chin, and my nose. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I really like this powder. I think it's a really beautiful powder from the drugstore. Um, I'm in the shade Fair Light, I believe what I'm using. It's a nice yellow tone. And then I'm using eyeliner that's from Essence. And then lashes are the Kiss uh, Gala Lashes. Gala? I don't really know. But I'm taking that raw sienna shade as a transition on my under eye and then I'm going in with that BH Supernova palette again and I'm taking the shade Pisces which is a really pretty green and believe it or not I actually am a Pisces so I kind of had to use this but it gives it a little bit of a different effect on the lower lash line than just it being a normal warm cut crease smoky eye so I'm applying that directly under my eyes and then I'm going to take a love letter again and blend that out so it gives it a little bit of a different hue and then I'm taking the champagne shade to highlight my inner corners and then we're taking mascara right before lashes and this is where I show you guys how I like to apply them so as you can see that whole time I did have lash glue drying on them so I like to apply the center of my lashes first and then I will connect the outer corner and the inner corner once I have the center on I don't like using lash tools I think it's easier with my fingers you do what is easier for you. Obviously these lashes are already cut and trimmed to my eyes because I've worn them a few times. Um, so make sure you do that. And then there's the difference between lashes and no lashes. Obviously I do cover the lash band later on once the glue dries. And then I'm just taking the NYC bronzer and Sunny and applying that all over to my face. I'm bronzing my cheeks and my temples and my jawline as well and then I'm taking the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and this is what we're going to contour with and then we're going to go in with this Too Faced blush I forgot the name but it's a Sweethearts blush it's a very pretty peachy color and it's got a little bit of a gold reflect to it and I just think it's really beautiful and for highlighter I lost the clip of me showing it I don't know why like, I don't know where it went, but it's hard candy tiki. So just applying this to my face. I've not used this highlighter in so long, but I'm sorry. I was really distracted. There was like something by my window and there was like a speed chase going on. So I was just, I was just watching it, you know, getting really distracted like I always do. And we're also going to apply that highlighter to my brow bone. I like matching my brow bone with my cheek highlight. I just think it looks really pretty. I'm using Makeup Forever Mist and Fix to set my face. And then for my lips, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Madame. 
lipstick. Is that how you say it? I think it's Mad Dan. I'm probably not saying that right, but and that's the finished tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.